Welcome. I bid you welcome to my music corner of the world. My name is Johnny John Clauser, Johnny Metal, the Metal Dad, whatever you want to call me. Doing a quick little solo trip. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, just kind of show off a few vinyl picks, uh, recent vinyl picks I got. Um, mostly from um, the uh, Alabama Record Collectors uh, annual record CD show that they just had this, this past weekend up in Gardendale. And I think I'll probably have a couple of other odds and ends of, of uh, things here I'll show off too. So, um, so with that said, let me, uh, let me show off some things I picked up. So I got quite a bit. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have, but I, I, I just kind of, I saw some stuff and I wanted to get it. So, uh, so here we go. So um, uh, first thing, Decided to pick up a little, little Talus live speed on ice. I actually had this on, um, I think I had this on CD a long time ago. Um, good album uh, for those of you who like Billy Sheehan and uh, some of his early stuff that he was doing um, with the band, with the band Talus uh, before he joined David Lee Roth. Uh, just an amazing just amazing stuff back then. Uh, it was just, just criminal that they never got as big, any bigger than they did. Uh, next up is a, um, picked up this, uh, a very early pressing of uh, Steve Vai's Flexible. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is either a first or a second pressing. I'm not completely sure on that. Um I love the Flexible album. Um, I have the cover that everybody knows, which is more of the, with the little, it has the, it has the whole this, but it's all in like an orange and the, the art's a little bit better, a little bit more, um, a little bit more refined where this is, uh, this was very, uh, uh, something out of a uh, Steve, uh, Frank Zappa album, but uh, still a very good cover. Um, Larry Norman in another land. Um, Larry Norman is like kind of the, he's kind of like the, the father of Christian rock and roll, I guess you could say. Um, so I've, I've always heard his stuff and I'm familiar with some of it, but not all of it. So I've kind of wanted to uh, pick some stuff up. Uh, this is part of a, uh, a uh, trilogy um, uh, albums that he was doing. Um, anyway, but, uh, I've kind of wanted, I saw this, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get that. So picked up some Larry Norman and, uh, listened to some good stuff there. Um, golden earring cut. Uh, I've been on a bit of a golden earring thing here lately. I've been finding some of their, uh, I, uh, when I was at seasick records, not too long ago, I came across a number of mid seventies, um, albums like after, um moon tan um the moon tan album with radar love and so the a lot of those mid 70s or albums are like this uh the what i've listened to are actually really good there's some good stuff there uh this one of course is known for having twilight zone um there are other songs on this uh there's about eight songs all together um it's been a long time since i've heard much of anything else after this so yeah i've been on a like i said been on a golden earring cut kick so i wanted to pick up some more of that um saxon crusader uh this one mid uh, 1984 release i've always liked the early saxon stuff but i'm cri it's criminal that i don't know enough of it i know crusader was was a was a really good album for them as well um so i'm looking forward to checking this out i'm actually saxon's another band i really need to dive deeper into now, this one, um, uh, maybe not the best releases by the band, at least one of them isn't, but the other was finding themselves getting back to um, back to form, and that is Raven, Stay Hard, which this album's a little, uh, it's still very Ravenous, ra Raven-like, but it's a lot more commercial sounding. But then you get 
the life, the life's a bitch album. And this was a promo, uh, a version of it, um, with, uh, a, a heavier sound uh, to it. This was a good album. They, uh, both albums were actually really good, but this one, uh, this one, they was like, yeah, I'm, we're getting back to form. We're getting back to, to the rate to the Raven we all know and love. So, uh, so that was pretty cool to find those on vinyl. Uh, picked up this one, Jerusalem, uh, another Christian metal band. Um, and one I've always kind of heard stuff about. So uh, I thought, again, I would take a chance on it and s- see what I think. I think, I, like I said, I've heard good things. So I, I think that's going to be a good choice. So um, Till Tuesday, Voices Carry. I've always liked this. I've always liked Till Tuesday. Uh, I always liked Amy Mann. I thought uh, her, she has a really nice voice. Uh, and I always liked their sound. Um, I actually found their second album uh, at C- over at CSEC, so I picked it up. And then, like I said, thought I'd get this too. Uh, just kind of wanted to go back and and pick up, you know, listen to some of that early stuff again. Kind of reacquaint myself with it, because it really is good. I enjoy it. So this one, uh, this one I'll make my my friend Peter Kerr in Rock Daydream Nation happy. So uh, Rose Tattoo, their first album. Um <laughs> this was a this was the one he wanted to do with me when we did rock postcards, but he had given me Scarred for Life, so that's the one I picked up. And I like Scarred for Life, but I've heard a lot of good things about this one too. So I was glad to find a, pr- a promo copy of it on um on um vinyl. And uh I'm gonna check it out, see what the and uh see what all that's about because I was trying to find a CD of it and it was uh giving me a little bit of a hard fit with it. So um this version, I believe, uh, this was released on Mirage Records on Atlantic. So I think, uh, I don't know if this is a, uh, where the pressings fall with that one. But either way, looking forward to it. Um, this one I've always saw as a kid, as a teenager. And for whatever reason, I just never picked it up. But this time I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick this, I'm going to pick this, this sucker up. I don't think this has the uh I don't think this has the sleeve with it, but um this is uh Ozzy, an Ozzy picture disc. Sorry for all the glare there, but um this is the one with Mr. Crowley. Uh you said it all in a in a live version of um Suicide Solution. So uh that's uh that was pretty cool to find. Um hadn't seen that in a while. Hurricane, take what you want. I love this album. Always did. Um, I don't know if I ever had it on vinyl though, but uh, but this was I I love this. I always love this album. Uh, the songs "Take Me in Your Arms," "The Girls Are Out Tonight," "Take What You Want," "Hurricane," and it's only it's only heaven and hot and heavy. Great six song EP. Uh, you know uh, Kelly Hansen, the singer now, of course is. Uh, leading um, uh, foreigner these days, uh, Jay Shelland is now the full time drummer in Yes. After Alan White passed away, uh, Robert Sarzo and Tony Cavazzo, uh, they have very famous brothers, uh, Rudy Sarzo and uh, Carlos Cavazzo, who of course were in Quiet Riot together. Um, so finding that on vinyl was really cool. Love that album. This was one. This was one I was really happy to find. Um, Cities, Annihilation Absolute. This one you can't really find on CD, or if you do, it's probably bootleg. But this is a this is a a Metal Blade version of it, uh, also manufactured by Restless Records. This one featured AJ Perro, who we most of us would know was the drummer of uh, for Twisted Sister. Um, rest in peace as well. Um, this was a four piece band, very th- kind of a thrashy power metal kind of sound. Um, really heavy, really heavy album. Boy, when AJ, after AJ left and, uh, um, Twisted Sister, he was actually still, when, when this album was recorded, he was actually still under contract with, with Atlantic Records to, uh, to, with, along with Twisted Sister. But yeah, this was, um, he would go on with them for a little while. And of course, Twisted Sister would break up. But 
Um, the last two things, this was, uh, I'm going to start rebuilding my, my, uh, vinyl collection from my, uh, my old wasp collection. So I found, I found the last command, found a reissue of, of, um, inside the electric circus, but I decided to pass on it. I kind of want to look for the old originals. Um, and, uh, actually they put the, um, uh, birch form on the back or in, in the inside now the one thing i'm curious about nope, there you go there's our there's our lyrics may be considered offensive by some audiences see when my copy i think on my copy mine was over here my sticker so uh but either way um yeah just check that out that's just so cool uh gosh it's been forever since i've seen this so um so yeah I'm I'm looking for rebuilding my old vinyls that I had of wasp. Uh I just feel like I want to have that stuff on on vinyl as well. Um normally I am not a bootleg guy, but I heard something about this one and I thought I would check it out. Um pick this baby up. What this is, is a live from the uh, Cambridge Corn Exchange in the UK from October 92. So this would have been uh, the Crimson Isle tour. Uh, here we have Doug Blair on guitar. Um, of course, Johnny Rod was on bass uh, and Stat Howland on drums. So um, you get about, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six seven you get you get about uh seven songs uh you get seven songs from the crimson idol on this one not in order um no i take that back one two three four five i, I my, my bad six six of the um of the songs from from crimson isle and it's interesting that um uh animal is not on this uh he must not have done it at this tour uh but yeah you got titanic overture you got the invisible boy uh the real me uh love machine chainsaw charlie uh wild child and the idol um headless children create misconceptions of me hellion on your knees i don't need no doctor i am one i want to be somebody and blind in texas so um i don't know what my it actually says this was a uh, an American fan club release. Oh, okay, this wasn't a bootleg. Um, so I don't know exactly how what my number is here. Um, it is supposedly is a limited edition, but it doesn't say what my number is. So anyway, uh, but this was released actually in 2021. So yeah, fan, Wasp fan club release. So who knows? Uh, anyway, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um. One other thing that I want to show off here. This was actually given to me at work. Um, I, uh, if I had known about this, I probably would have gone to watch this premiere. Um, the Knockdown Roses. Uh, this is something that was done here in Birmingham, uh, produced by a man named David D. Martin. Um, and I'm kind of interested to hear about it, this. Uh, there's a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of metal, a little bit of kind of prog, a little bit of uh, a little bit of all kinds of all kinds of different vibes from what I gathered from him, from when he was uh, talking to me. He said, for whatever reason, he offered me to have he offered a copy to me. I'm like, well, if you're just going to give it to me, I mean, yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Um, and I, I haven't had a chance to, but I plan on doing so. So uh, I'm looking forward very much forward to listening to that. Uh, obviously, I've got a lot of stuff to listen to here, So, um, but I've got some time. So uh, um, I feel like I feel like there should be some uh, something else I need to throw out. And I just don't have it handy, so that's okay. Anyway, um, before I go, one thing I want to leave you... Um, I'm going to be posting this probably tonight, uh, Saturday, uh, March 4th. 
uh, for anybody who watches this, um, if you are a praying person, um, I just ask of you to uh, just lift the prayer up to my great nephew um, and um, and his family. Um, you know, um, he's got some tough stuff coming up at, uh, next week. And so uh, I would appreciate any kind of thoughts and prayers. And uh, with that, uh, look for a look for a rock and north and south rock and metal connection uh, episode very soon. Uh, we're gonna do one up uh, tonight as well. Uh, we got Wasp Wednesday coming up, uh, so we'll be recording that next week. Uh, we'll have that debuting on Wednesday. Of course, uh, we'll be talking about the Headless Children. Looking forward to that because I love that album. So uh, anyway. Like, share, subscribe. What have what kind of things have you been buying lately? What kind of things have you been uh, going broke over, like me? <laughs> so uh, anyway, I am John Clouser, Johnny Metal, the Metal Dad. This is my music corner of the world. Stay tuned. We will be seeing you. Will be seeing some North and South Rock and Metal connection. Take care. <laughs>